Chillmonger, Captain Marvel, Kelly Thompson, Lee Garbutt. This artist is someone who I, for the last like four issues, yeah, this is part four of this story, I haven't been liking. And I can pinpoint what it is. When they, when Lee Garbutt is drawing big, it looks good. When the images are far away and the characters are smaller, that's what gets me. That's my subjective opinion. So in a perfect world where comic books were drawn for me, I would send a message to Lee Garbit that, hey, draw them much more bigger and then shrink the file so that it fits on the page and Chillmonger will be happy. But the world doesn't revolve around me and we're going to get the artwork that we're going to get. Fortunately, the best page had great artwork. I think Lee Garbit needs to put this on his or her. Is Lee Garbit him or her? Lee. That's crazy. I, I never even bothered to check. Lee Garbit did a damn fine job at this with Captain Marvel showing up. Um, then we got the four panels that are smaller on the side. I love that. I'm not with... Man, these are fine. You know, we get to see a, a panel, a panel, and to, to, to spice things up, one, two, three. But diversify a little bit. Give me a double page. Give and, and this book was good for that. So whoever is in charge of that gets my credit. And of course, Tamara Bonvillain's a good colorist gets my thumbs up. Now what happened in that page after um, Carol takes care of She-Hulk with new powers. She could absorb energy. She absorbs the electricity from She-Hulk's brain. Uh, if you're going to write a comment, tell me how you feel about that. I think that's so overpowered. Except she's also Captain Marvel and she's already super overpowered. Um, it doesn't like ruin everything. It doesn't. Be, um, let, let me let me use Superman. I don't want to do that because I used him last time. This guy's got an ability called heat vision. If he looks at you, you 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 heat up. I mean, because he's a good guy, that's restricting him from just instantly killing people. But for this, well, we can ask ourselves: Well, next time she's with Thanos, why can't she just use that ability? And then the answer is: It's actually trying kind of difficult to get around Thanos's head, and actually do the energy the electricity suck from his brain. So it's a new power that's introduced. However, to, to ever be able to use it, the circumstances would have to be at the right place at the right time. You'd have to have Mantis sleeping on top of him, trying to make him sleep, with Iron Man pulling on one arm, tugging away with Doctor Strand's bands of Sidorak. Or, like, it, it is kind of limited in what she can do. Oh, by the way, speaking of the cover, it's got dude doing the Box Supreme doing it to her. That's interesting. Um, so the page with Captain America. I loved it. I even love this conversation. I'll read it. I can't tell you, Steve. I'm sorry. But it's, it's you. It's really you. So he's going to confirm with her. It is. This is the way it has to be. Yes. You're certain there's no other way. Like, he's out here just making sure. Is this really Carol? Is she under some brain control? No, she's not seething at the, the mouth. There's no scales on her. She's conversating with me. She's only doing this of her free will because she thinks there's no better way. If there was, and I haven't found it, and then he says, all right then. And speaking of big, look how he drew, or Lee Garbit drew Captain America's face really big. And that's why it looks good there. Um, the very next page, I was thinking with the, you know, with the anticipation, I'm thinking, is he going to give up? Is he going to make it easy on her? And he does. He drops the shield. I yield. The emotional roller coaster I went under, I went through. It wasn't like I, I was watching it or reading this comic book with, Man, what's the writer's agenda in here? No, I was a passenger on the... I was swept off my seats and this was Captain America speaking, not Kelly Thompson telling me Captain America talks this way. This was um, the way it should be, a fan enjoying. And from then on, I was just like, what happens next? What happens next? So, so <laughs> I love this moment though. She's like, you know, I have to punch you now. Yeah, I figured as much. And she and she knocks him out. Then she gets to Vox Supreme. Oh, before that, there's actually this page where Tony has it all figured out. And there's a page here where Thor is gonna meet up with, with he's gonna meet with She Hulk and he goes straight to She Hulk. Where's the page? Where is the page? I just wanna say that they're continuing the relationship between both Thor and She Hulk over there in that page, in that panel. So that's cool that they're uh even though it's not really her story to be telling, she's still acknowledging the Ghost Rider stuff, the Thor and the Hulk, She-Hulk relationship. T 
Tony's figured it out. Good. It probably has something to do with Hawkeye, who isn't powered. And maybe that's what he means by Vox Supreme's greatest strength is going to be her weakness. So they'll substitute Ghost Rider for Hawkeye. Clint Barton Hawkeye or Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. Because <laughs> uh, Marvel likes the nickname. Different heroes, the same name. Flash 2, Green Lantern 2, not just Marvel. And, but when, when, when uh, Carol gets down there, she's next. Damn. So now I'm sitting here watching her. She's got her whole face blacked out and, 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 and it's masked. She's on this table and it looks like it's over for the Avengers. What could Tony's plan be? And it's, does it have to do with him being a human and not being powered? Because they did make a efforts to mention that Ghost Rider isn't powered either. Saying that um, the body of T'Challa, the body of who else was there? Somebody else. We're not really super powered. It's not in our DNA. I think therein lies the answer to the solution of this. We'll see what happens in part five. I'm not sure if part five is the final issue of the story or if it goes to a part six. But uh, I'm here. I'm going to check it out. So good ass, good ass comic book. My name is Chillmonger. Subscribe to the channel by clicking on the smiley face there. And uh, check out this video to my left, which is like two hours of me, Professor Bill, Blurred Without Fear, talking comics.